So we are multiplying 1 fourth times 3 over 1. So what we're going to do is just go straight across. So 3, 1 times 3 equals 3, and 4 times 1 equals 4. That's our answer, 3 quarters. Hello, my friends. Welcome back. I'm Michelle, and today we're going to multiply fractions. And I have some good news for you. Multiplying fractions is actually much easier than adding or subtracting fractions. So now do make sure that you download the link that I have here with all of my slides and the answers. And I also have some extra practice for you. So let's get started and multiply some fractions. Welcome to Purely Persistent, I'm Michelle. So now I have here 5 eighths times 2 thirds. So again, I'm just going to multiply straight across. The number on the bottom doesn't have to be the same. So five times two is 10, and eight times three is 24. Now, is there a number that goes into 10 and 24? Yes, right? Two goes into both of them. So I can just divide both by two, and I get 10 divided by two is five, 24 divided by two is 12. So that is my answer. But I wanna show you a little trick that makes it just a little bit easier. So this step here is called cross canceling. So what you do is you look, all right, we have five and three. Is there a number that goes into five and three, a common factor? Hmm, no. What about eight and two? Is there a number that goes into eight and two? Yes two does, right? Two goes into two one time and two goes into eight four times. So now I'm going to just multiply across again. Five times one is five and four times three is 12. So notice here, it's the exact same answer. You can do it either way, but I really like doing the cross canceling. I feel like doing a little extra work at the front makes it a little easier at the end. 4 fifths times 1 half. So let's do a little bit of that cross canceling again. So 4 and 2, right? 2 goes into 4 two times, and 2 goes into 2 one time. And now 5 and 1, I can't do anything. So 2 times 1 is 2, and 5 times 1 is 5. So that's our answer, 2 fifths. 3 fourths times 7. Now, anytime you have a whole number all by itself, like we have seven here, you can just put a one underneath it and that's going to turn it into a fraction so that you can multiply just like we are, okay? So I'm going to go three times seven is 21 and four times one is four. Now, sometimes this answer will work, but a lot of times it's not going to. Notice how the numerator, which is the number on the top, is bigger than the denominator, which is the number on the bottom. So we're going to do a step to take it so we have a mixed fraction instead of an improper fraction like this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go four into 21. So how many times does four go into 21? Five, four times five is 20, and then we're left with one, okay. Now, remember how I do this here. So the four, that is, was on the bottom here, right? So I'm going to keep the four on the bottom. And then my five here, that's how many go into it, right? That's, that's going to be our whole number. And then I have here one left over, which is going to go right here. And that, my friend, is the answer five and one fourth. Let's do another one like that just for practice. So we have four fifths times six. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a one underneath the six so that I have two fractions that I can work with, okay? So let's multiply across. So I have four times six is 24 and five times one is five, okay? So now we're going to go five into 24. How many times does five go into 24? Eh, it doesn't, but it goes into four, four, four times, right? Five times four is 20. And then I have 24 minus 20 
is four. So now we take our numbers. Here is the fraction. It was on the bottom before, so we're gonna keep it on the bottom. And then I have my whole number. This four right here is going to be the four right there. And then I have my four right here will be right there. That's our answer, four and four fifths. Two and a half times four fifths. So you can't actually multiply a mixed number, which is a whole number with a fraction, and a fraction, okay? We need to take the mixed number and turn it into an improper fraction. Kind of the reverse of what we just did, okay? So here I have two, and I'm going to multiply it by two, which is the number on the bottom. So I have two times two plus this one that I have right there. And then I'm going to throw it all on top of a two. Two times two is four, and four plus one is five. And then I keep my two on the bottom. So essentially, two and a half is the same as five halves, okay? Now I'm going to take that number and bring it right over here. So I have five halves, and then I'm gonna take my four fifths times four fifths, and I'm going to multiply across. But before I do my multiplying, let's see if we can do any cross canceling. So five and five, right? Five goes into five one time, and two and four, two goes into both of them, two goes into two one time, two goes into four two times, and now I multiply across, one times two is two, and one times one is just one, so that leaves my answer as two. So here we have another improper fraction, two of them. So now we have two more mixed fractions, and what we need to do is turn them into improper fractions, multiply them together, reduce it down, okay? So let's do it. So four times four, plus one, all over four. Four times four, 16, plus one is 17, over four. Now, we'll go two times two, plus one, all over two. So two times two is four, four plus one is five, so I have five over two. So we're going to multiply these together, but let's see if we can do any cross canceling first. So 17 and two. Is there a number that goes into both of them? No. Four and five. No. So we're just going to multiply straight across. So 17 times five. Quick, what is it? I got you. 85. Four times two is eight. So we have a improper fraction again, and now we have to reduce it down so it's going to be a mixed fraction. So we have eight goes into 85. So eight goes into eight one time, and then I'm left with zero and five. Can eight go into five? No, zero times. So let's see what we've got here. 10 is our whole number. So right here is the 10, and our Eight right here was on the bottom, so we're going to just keep it at the bottom. And we have our five right here, bring it on top, five left over, and that's our answer, 10 and five eighths. So just do a little more practice, and before you know it, you're gonna be masters of fractions, masters of multiplying fractions. So guys, I believe in you. Fractions do take a little bit of work, so you gotta keep practicing, okay? and you can, you can do this. I believe in you. Make sure that you believe in yourself too and just have such a beautiful day. Peace, friends.